Okay, next up, I'm gonna make as many healing creams as I possibly can make. We're taking more damage here than I'd like. Okay, next up, so we can make a fishing rod already. It looks like a lot of our recipes have transferred over, which is great. So we need to make a forge. We need some stone. Let's go. Let's go get some stone quick. The sooner we get the the forge built, the better. Doesn't look like we have a lot, whole lot of regular stone here, so I'm gonna have to go back to the previous area. Well, that's fine. I kind of wanted to go back anyway, just so I can get some other things. I'm just gonna get ripped in this town. It'd be great if uh, the the builder actually got like super beefy, so the next one were like big and strong looking comparatively. That'd be that'd be amusing. I would enjoy that. You know, haven't seen any wizards yet. I wonder if the those nah can't be. Ooh. There's a there is a minecart set up here. Yeah, so we're gonna be able to make a mine minecart along the way. That could be interesting. That will be interesting. I'm excited. Oh, oh shit, I might be able to make like cladding and stuff. If I could make um like cladding early on, that that'd be really helpful. He's gonna spin. They're gonna go back to kicking his ass. There we go. Yeah, so we're just gonna grab a bunch of stone while we're here. Just so I don't have to make multiple trips. Because I, I would like to get that forge going so I can get some armor going quick. So I can actually, um... Like, if I'm lucky, I can actually uh, build up some better equipment. And then maybe even get to the point where I'm just, um... Uh, building up the town. I want to build it high this time around. Especially, oh man, if we can make minecarts or something. The one problem is we have the hot spring, which brings us close to, um... Or, which forces us to stay close to the, uh... The hot spring's gonna keep us close to the ground. Though I could always use that as a pillar. Worst comes to worst, it gets destroyed, and I'll, I'll live with that. Okay. Well, butter my buns and call me a crumpet. Burley's back! We all got split up and the monsters came and smashed up coal. But if we can get the gang together again, we can take the fight back to the monsters. As soon as the boys are back in action, we track down where the monsters have taken Barbarella, we can bust her out of there. And if anyone knows where those blighters have taken Bar Barbella and our other mate, Burley will. Don't give up, Barbella. I'm coming for ya. I like it how he has, like, kind of insane eyes through that weird hood of his. Oh, hey, he changed clothing. Who's Barbella? Who ain't she, more like? She's the leader of our gang, the woman of our dreams, and the queen of our arts. She's our mother, our lover, our sister, and our friend. But most of all, she's our one and only hope. But now the monsters have gotten their rotty, dirty mitts on her. We gotta get her back. It's the last thing we do. Dude, will you do me a favor? When the time comes to break Barbella out of the clink, will you come with us? Let me tell you something, dude, just between you and me. Barbella likes a nice, hot bath better than anyone. So when we break her out of that cold, stinking prison, she's gonna want to get clean all over, if you know what I mean. I'll say no more, but... If that ain't enough to convince you to help, I don't know what is. That's weird and creepy. Okay. Is my chat just not been updating? Nope, it's just a really slow night. Oh, that's okay. Slow nights are fine. Okay, let's go talk to the other guy. Act yeah. <sighs> so, Barbella's not back yet then. I should have never gotten my hopes up. Last I saw her, she was being carried off by the monsters, and she looked a bit looked in a bit of a bad way. Wherever the rotters have taken her, we've got to get in there and break her out, sharpish. Only thing is, it's going to take more brawn than we've got to get her out in one piece. That's where you come in, dude. You know, people say you are what you eat? Well, I was about making me a massive protein-packed meal to bulk me up a bit. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm a vegetarian, and... Uh, you don't want to know how much grass I've got to eat just to keep myself in shape. But believe... Uh, but I believe in you, dude. I know you can cook me a meal. What'll make my biceps bulge. When I first met you in the mine, you picked up me out the juiciest prickly peach I ever tasted. I can't wait to see what you can do with the rest of the cactus. Go on, dude. Make me a delicious, nutritious cactus dinner. What'll put even more muscles on my chest.
Okay, so we figured out how to make a cactus steak. Ooh, and that should be really easy to make considering how prevalent cacti are around here. So we've destroyed the, the refinery for a second. Calm your titums, we're, we're just moving this around. I'm gonna make this this place a little bit bigger. I was hoping I'd be able to make brick cladding, but it looks like uh, we don't really have that ability yet. Okay, there we go. We've made our first miner's refinery. Perfect. So I want to make a make a far a forge. Okay, so we've got our forge. We got a miner's smithy. Okay, so we can do brick cladding. Yes. I mean, realistically, we want to make as many brick claddings as we can. The sooner we get that, the better. Flagstones. Let's see if I can make some flagstone cladding. Yep, or flooring. My bad. Yeah, that's close enough. Hopefully we can make, um... Stone wall. What do we need? Copper ingot. I guess we don't want brick at all. Because we're going to want to make... Stone walls along the way. Yeah, I'm gonna... We're gonna be able to... We're gonna be able to wall off this entire city really easily. <sighs> okay, we also have purple flagstones and blue flagstones. Which requires magic dye. Wow! We're... Yeah, we're gonna be able to, like, build half the shit that we weren't able to make, like, almost immediately. That's exciting. Okay, so we've got sconces, braziers... Wooden door requires iron ingots, gotcha. Still can't make a ch colossal coffer though. We don't have any trees. That sucks. Brick barbecue, brick wall, iron ingot, cook fire. Okay, let's see if we can make the cook fire. Okay. Nope. Not touching that one. Okay. So I'm gonna fix up the bedroom for a second. I'm gonna grab that that bonfire. Okay, so we got a bonfire. We need a cook fire, brick wall, and iron ingots. Okay, actually, while we're here, we don't want to talk to him. We want to build... Oh, I don't have any iron. Okay, so this is going to be the extent of what we can make for a little while. Okay, that's fine. Can I make... Yeah, so we have a sledgehammer, but we need iron for that. So that's going to be... Out uh, off limits right now. Alright. So what we want to do is I guess let's start with the obvious. What? Okay. Yeah, I don't think these guys can destroy... I don't think these guys can destroy, uh, towns? I could be wrong. Or, I, d I don't think they can destroy stone. It'd be interesting if we could make, um, it'd be interesting if we could make, like, uh, steel walls or, like, even harder walls this time around. Okay, but yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna quickly go around. Let's see, I think this is the town limits. It looks like it. Oh, my item bag is full. That's understandable. Whenever you're building a town, regardless of what you decide to do with it, you always start by digging the moat. We didn't dig a moat last time, and I shoulda. Though I guess it didn't really matter when it came to fighting the actual boss. Ah. Well. Let's see, we want to grab as many blocks of dirt as we can. Gotta go make another mallet. But yeah, I'm gonna build a moat around uh, the coal, the Great Coal Moat, right off the bat. Uh, other times I usually wait, but today we're gonna we're gonna start with a moat followed by a wall. Okay, looks like I'm gonna need. Looks like I'm gonna need some more sticks for this. So let's let's bonk down a couple of these trees. I feel a little bit weird. Oh, shoot, my inventory is full. I guess let's just use the Seed of Life. 
we're gonna be able to start healing ourselves soon, probably. I'm betting we can we'll be able to heal ourselves with food. Okay. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna build a moat. It's either gonna be two or three tiles wide. I have to decide on that one. Um three might make more sense with the scorpions. Uh, but then we're gonna build the wall. Mainly, I just need a lot of dirt, and I feel like working on this base. Now that we already have the, uh, the principal building materials. Uh, you know, s stone walls and flagstone floorings and stuff. Uh, seeing as we have the principal building materials that we need to actually build this down up, I figured, let's, let's start on this early. Just so, you know, I don't have to worry about it. Crap. I have no idea. Uh, is this the town limits? Okay, here we go. This is the definitive town limitations. There we go. So we don't have to worry about that. We've got this set up here. I think we're all good. Okay. Of course, how's this chest doing in terms of fullness? Not great. Yeah, we should probably get a cook fire set up as well. Oh, whatever. And I'm gonna get rid of this brickwork, because we don't like the brickwork at all. Okay, uh, so these guys are building me almost nothing. Nothing useful, anyway. Let's grab the- let's grab the barrels and the pots, at the very least. Clear that chest out for the time being. Not like it's gonna be too useful. I mainly want to see if they will even make, uh, barrels for me. Eh, it doesn't even look like they're using- using the place for the time being. Oh, holy mother of dirt. This is going to last me a while. Yeah, I might I might still make it bigger in the future. I don't know. The idea of kind of a fort town appeals to me, especially after last time. Because we kind of did it with Cantlin. And the last one we just built up as like a big square thing. This time around, I don't know. We might, uh, we might do the insane stuff. Let's see if we get attacked by any wizards here, too. Because that's also kind of an important, uh, important thing to pay attention to. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have at least 400 blocks of dirt by the time... Wait, no, I already have 400 blocks of dirt. We're going to be up in the 500s. Perfect. Because, yeah, the, the more... The more we have, the better. For building these towns up. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to go through and destroy all of the brickwork, too, which is going to be a pain in the butt. Heard you like dirt. I love dirt. Okay. I'll have to figure out how to make some kind of, like, drawbridge moat situation. It would be interesting if I had, like... Oh, dude. Uh, okay, so we have the bath, obviously. I could actually do something kind of mental. Oh, there's the wizard. Screw you, wizard. You might be able to teleport up here. Let's see. No, looks like I haven't gotten too far away from him. So this should work. Yeah, I'll have to break all the brickwork along the way. Should try and make a one giant tower, try and make the, reach the limit for height. Uh, I could try. I think for the time being, though, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try anything too crazy. We'll have to figure out how to make this town stand out from, from the previous one. Just because the previous one was kind of a giant square. Though, honestly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be making it a giant square anyway. Try and fill it with lava if possible. We might be able to? But yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about it. We could actually have, like, a lane. Like, the entrance to town would be through a lane of either those flamethrower things, or, uh... Or covered in spikes, or, like, any number of things. There's a lot of ways you could do it. But you could have, like, a... You could have, like, a really, really interesting, like, kill corridor maze. 
that uh, monsters would have to go through to get into town. That could actually work fairly well. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to do that. The problem is we're going to have to have the hot spring. Well, I guess we don't need the hot spring. But it seems important enough to go for that. The other thing I'd have to worry about is accidentally flooding the whole area. I'll probably have to make sure the, the walls are super thick, just in case. The lava will not hurt the monsters, just us. Good to know. Well, guess I'm not going with the, uh, the lava option here. Yeah, so I'll go with spikes, assuming I can make spikes. I usually can. Okay, there we go. So now let's start bonking down the walls. Public baths become bigger. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of the the brickwork that covers down. Bricks, in my opinion in this game, the bricks don't look terrible. But in comparison to the regular stone stuff... It's just not... Not even worth comparing them. <laughs> We've... We've made them bigger. We've destroyed them. We've made them bigger. We've destroyed them. We've built it. We've destroyed it. Yeah, this is what happens when I try and build stuff on a false wall. Okay. Uh, or not a false wall. The, uh, on a non-built-up wall along the way. Yeah, because unfortunately I'm not going to be able to move the wall. Or, not the wall. I'm not going to be able to move the bath specifically. Turn it into a public bath for the time being. I'm just going to move these these wash tubs over here. Because that section isn't moving. This entire area is good. This area is not. I've made it bigger. I've destroyed it. These messages are going to drive me nuts. Oh, interesting problem with the, uh, the baths. It's actually like a distraction for the NPCs. Oh, my giant mallet, mallet fell apart. Oops. Should probably make some more of those. I think I have... An, I think I have enough. Oh, we do have... We do have sand here, too. Not much, but enough. And I can get some more. Okay. Hey, we're gonna need iron. We've built a public bath. What am I missing for this? Oh, sconce? Oh, no, 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 no. One of the... One of the towel racks. Didn't realize I'd, I'd knocked it off in initially. Okay, so we've got the, the public bath back. We've got these set up. I'm just gonna punch through the dirt blocks here. Yeah, so we want to get rid of some of the sand. We've got the flag. The, the problem is the flag is always a, uh, a consistent uh, annoyance. Let's see. Because I can't move the flag up, so even if I wanted to... I wouldn't be able to, uh... Even if I wanted to, I, I can't raise town too much here. I can probably raise it to some degree. Hey, we've got a new block. We figured out how to make blue flags down. Ooh. Do you want to do blue flags down? Yeah, we're definitely going to need to make the moat a little bit bigger here. Because this is... This is too thin. It doesn't catch the scorpions. To be fair, I'm not entirely sure if we want to catch the scorpions. Just in case. I wonder if I could have multiple layers... If I move it out, just one more. Because if I had a secondary wall, we really just don't know what kind of enemies destroy destroy walls. Let's see. Did it drop anything there? The answer is no. Whoops. Okay. Because... If they don't get through my stonework too much, 
And I can't imagine that they're going to. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm just going to keep chopping through these. Yeah, the question is, can he break... Can he break blocks? Did I, like, totally forget to put this layer here? It seems way too... Convenient that this is missing. Yeah, let's let's destroy the smithy for the time being. I wanna I wanna build this town to spec, not not uh, work off of its its just junky foundation. It'll be easier if I tear everything to the ground and rebuild. Oh, maybe destroying that chest is a bad move. At least for the time being. Though, luckily, nothing gets destroyed in this game. So there's that. Okay. So, how big do we want this? Maybe we should measure. Or, we should just use the side with the bath on it. We should probably do that, honestly. Because we've got this side with the bath here. That more or less means... We know, we know what specs we're looking at. Our dimensions. So I can destroy everything freely here. And then rebuild based on this. Okay. I want to salvage as many of this purple brickwork as possible. It looks cool. As far as I'm concerned. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we need another, we need another bedroom, we need another chest, we need, we need to build everything back up, but first, I'm just gonna knock it all down. This'll, this'll work better. I don't know. Okay. See, I got the bedroom here. Part of my problem is I'm totally out of inventory space and we need a chest. Okay. Well, you know what? For the time being, we know exactly... We know exactly where, where to build the initial moat. I need a three-wide gateway or something in the future. Okay. Right, I need sticks. Unfortunately, I also need to drop some stuff. Should be fine. Oh, did, okay, that discarded it at a decent distance. That's fine. Do these things regrow around town? It feels like they do. I could be misinformed. We're going to be having a wizard probably rolling in soon. But I'm just going to knock down what trees and grasses we have. Yeah, I guess I'll just put... Uh, I guess I'll just put copper doors around here somewhere. Okay, let's destroy everything like a dumbass. Okay, so we have a bunch of brick. Let's discard the brick. Hey, which flies out of town. And let's destroy the... or discard the brick cladding. Because we don't need those. Okay, so we've got our first... Minor fil filter. I'm gonna plonk it right there. I don't know if that's a good place for it. I'm gonna put that there. I don't even know if this thing has uses, honestly. I'll just plonk it there for the time being. The problem is I I destroyed the chest. I didn't I didn't move the stuff over and I probably should have waited on that. Ah, but you know what I can do? I can make a uh I can make another chest. I should probably make like several. I'll make like two or three. Cuz we're always going to need more. Oh yeah, we did have the the pot area. I'm just going to throw this here for the time being. Okay, there we go. Now we can start getting some stuff in here. 
I'll have to rework this smithy. Because this current situation ain't gonna ain't gonna cut it. Maybe if I did something like this. Did I leave enough room? One, two, three, one, two. Yes. Okay, cool. I did somehow leave enough room for this. Okay, I'm just gonna put away the tree stump. It's it's dead weight. Plus plus. Okay. We're getting foundation blocks? Oh, hey, we do have ca cactus cutlets. Stone foundations. Yeah, see, if I could make a uh, stone foundation cladding or whatever it's called, that'd be really cool. So we might actually be able to make an upgrade here. Beyond what we have been making. Also, I'm starting to starve. That's a problem. Guess I'll just put away the dirt for the time being. Okay. There we go. So, I can do this. I guess I'm just going to put that there, and let's make some cactus steaks. Okay, and let's make some bunnicorn steaks. Oh, I thought for a second I was able to make, um... Cacti, cacti or whatever. Okay, there we go. Inventory is super full, but this is okay. Okay, let's go back to this. Uh, slime, that, that. Plenty of flagstones. Ooh, I can make uh, more flagstone flooring and stuff. Okay, I think this is the last of all the all the unique crap that I have to deal with. Okay, we got purple flagstone blocks. I'm not a big fan of the purple. I kind of like the I kind of like the regular flagstone the best, honestly. If there's like an advanced version of it, this is gonna suck because I'm gonna have to tear everything up. But still, okay. Nope. Core. Now that's what I call a steak. Come on, then, dude. Hand it over. Yes. Hmm, that steak smells absolutely gorgeous. I can feel my biceps getting bigger already. Those monsters what kidnapped Barbarella won't know what ate them. Why'd they kidnap her in the first place? Or, don't know really. After they caught her, they were trying to get her to tell her, tell them about something. But Barbarella wasn't having any of it. She got a tight lip that one, and she wouldn't talk. The monsters got proper miffed, and took her away with them. The goddess only knows what they're trying to get her to say. But anyway... Dude, thanks for the steak. Once I got this down me, I'll have the strength I need to head into the monster's lair and bring back Barbarella. Okay. So we want to do just earth, earth, earth. I don't know necessarily if we want to fill this in. But I've got a lot of spare earth, earth blocks that I can get rid of. And we want to build up. And leaving, like, a giant hole in the bottom of my base without a plan. A, a, a basement without a plan is probably going to be a bad move. It could be fine. I don't know. Anyway. You know, the one thing we could do is actually start uh, with kind of the insane thing. So we have the, we have the bath by default. I could actually, I could actually just build the... Um, the housing directly on top of it. I'm leaning towards that, honestly. I hope we get uh, the ability to make nice looking beds in this one. Oh, we're, we're under attack. Okay, that's fine. I do like the fact that every one of these chapters starts off slightly differently to make things uh, interesting. Let's see. Yeah, we do also want to go for all that sand. Okay, let's grab let's grab all of the dirt. Yeah, we need we need uh like cotton and we need wood. We need wood desperately. 
It always bothers me, actually, that getting wood is, like, such a hard thing in this game. Wow, this is a weird remix. And my giant mallet is falling apart. Oops. Okay. Well, I think I'm almost done with the basic setup here. I'll have to... I'll have to make the, uh... I'll have to make the, uh... thinking. I'm gonna have to make the moat bigger. Maybe figure out a way of making it actually dangerous. I might deal with all this sand. I wonder if I can use cladding on the sand, but then again we actually want the sand for things. Okay. Uh, maybe I do like the blue flagstone. I'll think about it. Let's keep filling this sucker in. Uh, yeah, let's let's go with the insane thing here. So I'm, I'm just going to clear this area out for a little bit longer. Let's see, did I... Nope, haven't messed this up. I'm going to do the insane thing, and I'm going to put the, uh, the sleeping quarters on the... Um, on the roof of the... Uh, on the roof of the... Uh, the roof of the the bathing area because that's never gonna move So we know kind of without a doubt that that's gonna that that's like that's immutable So if we put the sleeping quarters over there, we never have to worry about moving anything around Whereas like this pot chamber. I'm I've already kind of torn up which I mean I'm gonna re I'm gonna replace all the parts almost immediately but still okay we don't want that, and we definitely don't want to lose the block there. Unfortunately, I can't make stairs, but we can figure that out fairly fast. Who knows, maybe I can make stairs and I just haven't looked. Okay, how many blocks high is the man? Because there's one block you can dig in there. Put heaps of chests under there. Oh, uh, I could... I mean, honestly, once I get the Colossal Coffer, I don't really need any more chests. It's just right now it's an inconvenience, and technically if I was pursuing the plot, uh, we might actually speed that along. But I'm kind of a particular person and I like getting my bases... Actually, what am I doing? We don't want to... we don't want to destroy this at all. Okay. Dude, there's hot water! Uh, we're... in. Uh, the hot water we're in just got a whole lot hotter. This ain't no time to be stuffing your face with cactus. The monster's got a whiff of you, your own cooking. They're coming to take a bite. What's that? How do I know the monster's coming to before they get here? Or blimey, ain't it obvious there's on my pectors standing up. And when you say yes, that'll be their signal to attack. Well, dude, you ready to rumble? No. Okay, so we're we're not going to do that. The reason why I want to uh, want to put it, put this off is because we've got a thing to do. So I don't. I assume these guys can... It's not going to be a staircase, per se. Okay. But let's let's get a staircase up in here. Do we want to have it start, starting here? We could. Yeah, let's, let's do it here this time. Last time I had it in a really odd spot. And this time I'm going to be putting it here. I don't know what I'm going to put underneath this staircase. Uh, honestly. Okay, so let's... Let's see, we want this place to... We want the bath... To be... Do we want it to be four blocks tall? Yeah, let, let's make sure we definitely have enough room... To see what we're doing here. So we'll do four blocks tall, so I, I still gotta put one more... Layer on this one. Okay, there we go. So if I do... Yeah, we'll just do twos here, and then I'll fill it around the rest of the way. I'm not entirely... Oh, we're already running out of dirt. But yeah, if I, if I put the sleeping quarters directly above this place, one, it should be pretty sizable, and I can always increase the, the space as needed. Um, but this way we can have, like, a nice little walking area... Stuff like that. Is he holding a bucket? 
Is Gluteus's weapon literally a bucket? I think it might be, actually. Bodies of slain enemies would fit nicely underneath the stairs. Har har. Okay, so we want stone cladding? Stone cladding. Okay, it never goes down. Probably also means we should, um... We should actually sit down here and... And... Uh, we're gonna need more stone cladding. Well, let's see. So... Uh, yeah, I wanna, I wanna do a little test strip here. Because I think the stone walls go too deep. But I've, I've never checked. Okay, stone cladding, go. Yep, it's too deep. Okay, I'm just going to do this here. It's a bit wasteful, or it's a bit inefficient. But I don't care that much. What I want to do... Is get high... Higher. Okay, actually, you know what? This is fine. Because I can just start spinning to win the remaining uh, remaining stone wall segments. Yeah, the reason why I want to do this is so we actually have a supply of them. Otherwise, I actually have to gather the materials for. Whereas instead, we're using conversion magic to make as many as we need. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like they're already climbing it. Which is kind of perfect for what I'm aiming for here. Hmm. So they only go up four high. Whoops. Only goes up four high. So we want to do that. Do we want to have this layer be flagstone? No. Deuces. Okay. I guess I'll go make some more. I'm just going to go with the crudest of stairs for the time being. Yeah, because if we're going to be... If we're going to be going to bat... Uh, going into battle, we might as have our finest... Uh, we might as well have our finest potions for this. No, uh, we might as well have our entire town covered in in um, stone, so I don't even have to think about anything. Okay, one there. Actually, do we... Do we want to... I'll do flagstones. Oh, you know what? That's one thing we could also do. Signify with a, a second signify a second floor based on block type. That could also work. Don't care too much. Okay. Uh put away our continual amounts of crap. Sort. Okay, so we've got a bunch of sandstone. That should work. We got one piece of clay. And I'm gonna get rid of our miscellaneous spare blocks that we don't need. You know, you know what? Let's go back here. Let's get let's get some um Let's get some blue flagstone. We might as well have some extra variety here. <laughs> 